Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. And I can't forget the carrots. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Luis. Look at this. I'm putting together this basket of vegetables to give to my good friend, Mark. He really helped me out when I was planting my garden this year. I couldn't have done it without him. <laughs> oh, that makes me think of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. There we go. Today's true story begins in this town. And this is Elisha. Elisha was God's friend and traveled to this town to do God's work. One day, he met a woman who wanted to help him. She thought he might be hungry, so she invited him to dinner with her and her husband. Elisha was thankful for the help, and he ate dinner with them. Then, whenever Elisha was in town, he ate dinner at their house. Oop, here he comes. <laughs> Time to eat. There he goes. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> time to eat again. And he's off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One day, they had an idea of how they could help Elisha even more. The woman and her husband decided to build a room on the roof of their house for Elisha. Now they have the room. But what are they going to put in it? Elisha will need to sleep on something. What should it be? Should he sleep on a trampoline? Or should he sleep on a bed? <laughs> a bed, that's right. Now, what if Elisha needs a place to sit and write a letter? What will he need? A swimming pool or a table and chair? <laughs> a table and chair, you're right. That's exactly what he'll need. Now, one last thing. Elisha will need something to help him see in his room when it gets dark. What will he need for that? A kangaroo or a lamp? <laughs> a lamp, you're right. That's exactly what he'll need. The woman made sure Elisha's room was all ready for him. There was a bed so he could sleep. There was a table and chair so he could write. And there was a lamp to help him see in the dark. When Elisha saw the room, he was so happy and thankful. The woman and her husband were such great helpers. Elisha was very thankful that God had given him people to help him. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios.